going to talk about paging space. A page is a unit of virtual memory that holds 4 KB of data and can be transferred between the real and auxiliary storage. It basically comes in between your memory and uh, CPU. Uh, whenever your memory gets filled up, um, you cannot uh, open or you cannot create any new process. In that case, paging space comes into picture. What it does is, uh, whenever a memory, uh, I mean the real memory gets filled up, let's say about 80%, um, there will be a lot of inactive pages in the memory. So those pages will be moved to the paging space and uh, uh, new pages will be created for new processes. So that you can still work on the system or you can still open, new open or create new processes. And uh, this makes, whenever a memory gets filled up, the paging activity between the memory and the paging space will be very high. So you need to have a appropriate memory and paging space to for a proper uh, for proper working of your system. So a paging space, it is also called as a swap space, is nothing but a logical volume with the attribute type equal to paging. This type of logical volume is referred to as a paging space, logical volume or simply paging space. Even in Windows we have a paging space uh, terminology. Uh, over there we call it as uh, virtual space. In normally in Windows uh, virtual space is uh, uh, automatically managed by the Windows operating system. Uh, here in AIX when you install the operating system by default there will be a paging space created and uh, it is called as uh, HD6. You can see LSPS hyphen A command will show the current paging spaces in your system. You can even find out using LSVG hyphen L the VG name. Uh, you can see that is a LV of type paging and it's called as HD6 and it's in open state. That is the paging space is active right now. So this is the default paging space that comes up with the AX operating system. If you want uh, more paging space, you can increase the current uh, LV that is HD6 or if you want you can create a, a new logical volume for uh, additional paging space. So the default paging space size is determined during the system customizing phase of AIX installation according to the according to certain standards like uh, paging space you can use no less than 16 MB except for HD6 and paging space can use no more than 20% of total disk space so if your disk space is uh, 20 GB I mean you, if your hard disk is 20 GB the paging space cannot use more than 20 GB of the hard disk and if the real memory is less than 256 MB paging space is two times the real memory and whenever your memory is uh, equal to a more than 256 MB of then uh, the paging space is uh, 512 MB or in some for some applications they say like uh, 0.75 or 75 percent of the real memory so suppose if your memory is uh, 12 GB you can have a paging space of uh, 75 percent of that that is uh, 9 GB but it depends upon the system usage and the purpose for what you are going to use for Oracle better you can talk with your Oracle DBA and uh, you can get they can give some suggestion on that so today we'll see how to create a paging space how to manage it and how to increase it or decrease it how to activate and deactivate all those kind of things let us create, an, uh, a cre create a new paging space for the user command mkps uh, hyphen s the number of uh, logical partitions you need my root volume group uh, got a paging uh, partition physical partition size of uh, 32 MB so if you want to have a paging space of 64 MB I need to give two logical partitions and uh, Finally, I am going to give a volume group name. This will create a paging space. 
I, here I, I haven't supplied the paging space name I mean the paging device name so it took a generic name the generic name starts from paging 00, zero and next time if I create it will create a device of name uh, paging 01 can find out whether it is created successfully or not here you got it paging 00, zero is the LV name and the type is paging uh, it's using two logical partitions it is in closed state that means it is not yet activated whenever you create a paging space an entry will be added to etc swap spaces file oh, it's just okay only if you say that it should be activated automatically it the entry will be added so LSPS hyphen A shows or paging space that is paging 00, zero and uh, here the active field is no that means after reboot the paging space will not be activated you can change it at any point of time hyphen A Y sorry the auto field is the one for automatic activation okay so whenever you uh, switch on the auto uh, field to S the entry for the paging space will be added to etc swap spaces here you can see paging G there is a stanza for paging 0 adder with the device name and if you want to find out the information on paging space you can see it over here the paging space is right now not activated so you can see it is no you can always activate it using a simple command called swap on it's activator so the total paging space in our system is uh, the default one 512 MB plus the newly created 164 MB it is a uh, 576 MB LSPS-S will give you the consolidated value I mean the total value of paging space uh, as well as the percentage used for the paging space uh, paging should not be used more more than like 30 or 40 percent and even if it reaches 40 percent you will feel the system will be very slow and uh, sometimes you may not be able to open the mm, terminal like a terminal or SSH session and uh, if a paging goes heavily you may not able even able to log into console so in that case the only thing you can do is to hard boot a hard reboot a machine you just press the power button off and press it on and uh, once the system comes up you can find out uh, uh, using the error report what was the cause of system crash so now we have activated a paging space and uh, we'll see how to deactivate it so again using the swap of command swap on is for switching on and swap off is for switching off the paging space 